What's good everyone? Today I have a story time of how I lost out on tens of thousands of dollars on one pair of off-white sneakers. Uh, it was a couple of years ago. I totally don't regret what I sold the pair for or when I sold it. Um, but given the circumstances, I did lose out on a ton of money. I just want to share with you guys uh, the story of, you know, what happened and why I lost out on so much money. So. I hope you guys enjoy and stay so tuned. So before I get started, I just wanted to make this point very clear that this, uh, the price impact and the reason I lost so much money was due to Virgil's death and it was when the off-whites increased in price. Um, I just want to make it clear that during this time period, I took a huge stance um, against raising prices and against all the resellers actually bumping their prices up. I can show you how the prices increased like it was thousands in one day. Uh, screenshot's gonna be there. But it was honestly just insane. And I had a ton of off-whites, you know? As you can see, I always do. Um, it's a shoe I've been selling since they came out. I've sold hundreds, um, and I didn't feel the need to make an extra buck that day, especially that day, you know? Um, it was something that I decided on my own to sell the pairs for what I was selling them for like weeks before what they were already listed for. Um, so I sold to several people, as you can see here, and I'll post one probably here too. Um, but yeah, I sold tons of off-whites for way under market. I remember selling a pair of like off-white UNCs for 1350. Um, and I didn't even like sweat about it. I was just like, whatever. And pairs were going for like three to four grand brand new of UNCs. Now they're back at 2000, which they should be. But that was just crazy to me. And I just want to make the point clear. Like I didn't take the, uh, the time period to make a profit off of his death. Um, I spoke out a ton about it. Um, I made a ton of live videos just talking about, I remember I made one live video where I had, I think close to like 300 people join. Um, cause everyone knew that I sold this shoe that I'm going to talk about in this video, um, which is an off-white shoe. I haven't mentioned it yet. Um, so everyone was, you know, surprised on what my stance would be and what I would think about what happened in the situation. Um, but to me personally, it was pretty clear, you know, I just want to be able to give back and give pairs up for, you know, what I was selling them for. It wasn't a big deal that prices were increasing three, four times what they were going for. Like, off white Chicago's got to like $9,000. I had like brand new pairs. I sold them for 5,000. Um, but the main shoe that this video is about, I just want to make that super clear. Sorry, that was like two minutes, three minutes. Um, I just want to make that very clear just because I believe strongly in that. And, you know, I lost a lot of uh, connections during that period because I didn't like that people were increasing their prices and I stayed away from those people, even though I did previous business with them a lot. So there was a lot of, uh, there was a lot that happened in, uh, on November 28th, um, 2021, that's for sure. Um, but I hope Virgil's resting in peace and his legacy will live on forever um, as it already is, you know, he's changed the sneaker world, the fashion world, um, my opinion, he's one of the top designers of all time. So he is, uh, will forever be remembered. And now we're going to get onto the story time. So I appreciate everyone listening to that. And sorry if that was super annoying for you, but we're going to get onto the story time right now. And I will show you guys why I lost out on tens of thousands of all dollars. All right, now onto the story. So the shoe that I lost tens of thousands of dollars on was actually this shoe right here. Um, it was the Off-White Air Force One Complex Cons. This is a size four, that's why I feel like the size of my hand. Um, but yeah, so I lost out, I had a pair of size 11 and a half OG All and it was signed um, by Virgil. Both pairs were signed. It had an inscription, everything. The signature was perfect. It was like basically a brand new pair. Um, and I ended up selling the pair for close to $3,000. Um, now the pair alone for a brand new pair, or like close to brand new, it's up to five to 6,000 and even 10,000 um, for a brand, brand new pair. So prices have just skyrocketed on those. Um, and this was not during the period after sadly Virgil died on November 28th, 
um, the prices. I'm gonna show them again here. Um, they just, it was absurd what they were going for. Um, but I sold the pair of these signed for 3000 on, I think it was sometime November 15th or November 20th to my friend, Cilantro Soul, shout out to him. Super good dude. Um, I sold a bunch of shoes to him. We do a ton of business. So if you want to drop him a follow, you should. He's a great guy. Um, but yeah, so basically I sold that shoe to him. Um, it was a week, week or so before his death. Um, and the second he sadly passed away on the 28th, I had people messaging me offers of six, seven, eight, ten thousand. And that was, I just didn't even post them for sale. They were posted as sold. Um, and people were still messaging me being like, can you buy them back? Like, how can I get this pair? And I was just, you know, I was like, what is it? Like, what? Um, I was just mind blown by the whole situation. And I didn't take it, like, I wasn't mad. Um, the money wasn't a big deal to me, you know? Um, all my off-whites sold that day, as I explained earlier, for like the prices I wanted them to sell for originally. So like I sold pairs for thirteen fifty or like eight hundred bucks and they were going for thousands, but it was like I didn't need that, you know. I was trying to bless some people that were following me and then the community and I wanted to be able to give off whites back to people who just like couldn't afford them because no one knew if they were going to like keep going up, you know? No one knew. Um, so it was like a time period where people were like buying them. They were like, they're going to keep going. They're going to keep going. They didn't. Um, I knew they weren't going to, but yeah, so they fell back down to where they are now. Um, and they are where they are. But basically I sold them to cilantro for, you know, a ton less than what I was offered for, um, sadly after his death, but it's just crazy to, um, see how much that impacts the market. Um, and it's something that, you know, I didn't ever think about. Um, it's super sad. And, you know, for the people that took advantage of his death and raised their prices, it was something that I wasn't very um, understanding of. So I stayed away from those people, um, as a lot of people did. But that's a personal opinion, and I don't really want to get into that too far. Um, but that's the story time for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed. So, it's gonna be a ton of screenshots up. Um, this is another pair that's currently for sale. Size 4, it's actually for sale for $2,000, so super cheap. Um, probably will never see this size again, ever. Um, but yeah, I appreciate everyone for stopping by, and if you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I hope everyone has a good rest of their day. Thank you guys for watching.